Hello folks, Mike Kaylee 7 again. Let's see if I can tilt this down just a tad. I think you can still see me. Happy January 24th, 3rd. Let me see, if January 20th was Wednesday, 23, happy January 23rd. Guess who? It's me, Mike Haley 7. You know what I need? I need some gas. That's what I need. I will work on that next. Everything else seems to be all right. So as you can see, it is a beautiful day. I'm trying out a couple of new mounts that I just got from Amazon. I'll try to put the links in the description for you. On my helmet, I have uh, a very simple setup with a, a rotatable uh, stock, I guess you could call it, on the mount. And over here, I don't know if you can see that, but I got that set up there. I got another mount coming in. I'll show you when I get it. I'm hoping that I can do something cool with it. We'll see. So. Stay tuned, I guess. I've seen people with with these really elaborate arm extension setup things, you know, like it's way over here and it sticks out over there and it, uh, I figure simple is better. I think one mounting bracket that's swivelable is that a word? I think that's uh, that's the ticket for me. Arms are things that can jiggle. And I know these things have motion stabilization. I, I know that. But... Stabilization's working on this thing right now because I can see it jiggly jiggling. So the temperature is 48 degrees on this beautiful blue sky day, not a cloud in the sky. cannot complain about a thing except for the fact that I haven't been out riding in a while and for that I am sorry but I was sick I had some kind of stomach thing that took me out almost for seven days today's the first day I felt good since last Saturday so six days of ugh. hopefully I'm done with that and I can Go back to my life. Wow, it's a very nice day. I'm just kind of waking up my brain here. I mean, it's what, 1.23 p.m on a Saturday and uh, I still feel kind of groggy I got up at 8 this morning but uh, you know just laying around the house sick for so long you get a you get a kind of a film over your 
senses that takes a while to diminish. I got these goggles recently to solve a problem I have. I have terrible, terrible dry eye, as Moose can attest, because uh, he had to wait for me to get my eyes working in the morning. But uh, I thought, let me see if there's anything on Amazon. So look up dry eye goggles, dry eye glasses, and I found a, a thing for like 12 bucks, you know, it can't really hurt. It's, uh, they're, they're like basically motorcycle goggles. They get the rubber gasket around them so that it can suck up to your face and keep the, keep the cold wind off your face, off your eyes. And they don't fog up, they got an anti-fog th something on them, so. I put them on when I was in the garage, getting the bike ready and putting the cameras and stuff. Because it's 48 degrees, you know. So, uh, my eyes did not water, which is great, because usually they're very, very, very watery. I think I said in a, re a recent video that if I could show you what's going on inside here, you wouldn't like it, because it looks like I'm crying my eyes out. And I kind of look like that right now. My left eye is, is kind of weeping a bit, but at least having those goggles on for the short time I did helped and I was gonna wear them while riding but how do I get the helmet on with the goggles you know I, I, I just don't see how that's gonna work out you get that strap goes around the back of your head it's a thin little teeny elastic strap it's easily breakable I'm not gonna risk breaking that so I'm gonna have to figure out another type of goggle that has the same deal that the one I have currently possesses, but with, uh, what do you call them? What do you call them? Things that go over your ears. You know what I mean? The sticks that stick out the side. Watching my videos these days is like watching dementia slowly take over, right? God damn it. Beautiful day, and I have the heated grips on at a four. My heated seats on at a four. My uh, suspension is set at two, two uh, passenger plus rider and luggage. So that makes it the the highest level of the suspension, the most air in the shocks or whatever. You get a stiffer ride that way, and I seem to really enjoy that. I haven't really had any problems with it. Of course, I haven't really switched it down any either, so I could be missing out, right? But I figure keeping it nice and high up is probably better for twisties and such. Plus, I'm fat, so. All right, let's see if I can get in this gas station without killing myself. Here's a stop sign. I roll right through it. There's another stop sign randomly over there. We roll right through that. You know why I do that? Do you know why I do everything wrong? It's a way to flush out the assholes. It's a way to flush out the assholes. So if you're going to leave a comment saying, I'm a dangerous rider because I don't stop at all the stop signs. Found one. Do not enter. There's a stop sign for you. Screw that.
Alrighty. We are styling. Riding around. I gave the guy a head nod. Hopefully he saw it. Close my visor a bit so I don't cry. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Now I gotta start looking for my turn. I do have a turn coming up. There it is. So uh, I would like to do a shout out to uh, GB Winging It and uh, Harley Day Rider and Bodine 52. I saw they all the videos recently. Walton PA as well and Moto Mengi. I think uh, GB Winging It had a great topic stop sign. Look at me roll right through that thing. Oh my God. Michael, what's wrong with you? <laughs> so the topic of the day seems to be what do you do in the winter time? How do you get through your winters? Do you ride anyway? And if you do, what extra steps do you take? You know, gear stuff, that kind of thing. If you don't ride in the winter, because you can't, you know, because of ice, snow, uh, salt, all that jazz. What do you do? I'll tell you one thing that I do, or did, before the COVIDs hit and everything got all screwed up. I got myself a baritone saxophone. I was playing that thing like a bandit. I was going every single day, practicing. Then the COVID's hit, and the scheduling got crazy, and just so many. I work way more now than I did back then. Way more now. Don't even have a free moment. I'll sit down at my job at 8 a.m., and I, I won't get up except to go to the bathroom. And that's it. I just go to the bathroom, you know, two or three times. Maybe I'll get lunch and, and eat it at my desk. But it's just bam, 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 all day until five, six, seven o'clock at night. Five days a week. When it's not critical for me to get stuff done by a certain deadline, I will leave at five. So that's it. I'm going home. But if it's a thing where, you know, the deadline for registration's coming up and somebody might not have a class because of it, I'll stay later to help them out. But I did notice recently, I stayed later and I got these people in. After the deadline, there was like an extra deadline, hard to explain. I got these people in the very, very last second, right as the door was coming down on it, right? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm in. All right. Then they didn't do what they're supposed to do, and they got dropped. <sighs> stupid. Just stupid. I kind of meant to avoid all this. Oh, here, here I am with a big map on my bike here, and I didn't even realize because I'm a stupid. So that, uh, I'm not going to be able to take a right for a while, so just relax, Mikey, relax. Anyway, so I haven't been able to play my saxophone. 
I stopped my lessons and the thing has mostly just sat there unused. I did try to get it out and get it set up and, and play and I did play a little bit but then the crazy hit again and so now I think now I'll be able to get back into it. Things are going to be quiet for the next couple of weeks. I'll take, you know, I already have it set up. I just have to wet the reed, stick it on the mouthpiece, get my uh, my shoulder strap things and hold it up, you know, because it's heavy. It's That's going to be at least, what, 25, 30 pounds? So that's one of the things I do. I do a whole lot of uh, YouTube watching, history, archaeology, uh, cosmology, astronomy. Too much news, probably. I definitely watch too much news. It's kind of a shame, really. I used to walk more, exercise more. It hasn't really happened because of the sickness that I had. Uh, well. I'm hoping that I can get that vaccine soon. And then I can go out with less fear of, you know, the COVIDs. I'm not really afraid of it. I just don't feel like dying yet. And you never know, right? Some people get it, don't even know they got it. Hell, I could be one of them. And other people get it and they're dead. I'm over 50, barely. I'm overweight, not barely. And I'm asthmatic, real bad. I get, uh, whenever I get sick, it goes right in my chest, it's horrible. I get bronchitis, if not once a year, once every other year. End up having to take the Zithromax. So I'd rather not push it. And now if you're one of those people that says, I'm not getting that vaccine because they put an RFID chip in it. They're chipping you secretly. You know what? You're an idiot. You're a complete idiot. Don't even want it. Unsubscribe me right now. You're an idiot. If you think they're chipping us through the vaccine, you're a complete retard. Just go. Just go. Don't want nothing to do with you. Now if you think, I'm not going to get that vaccine because... It might make me grow a third eye, or cause cancer, or make me stupid. Okay, all right, that's, that's a concern that's possible. I don't know, I mean, these kinds of things can happen, although they're, they're, they've been giving out millions of doses. People ain't turning into zombies yet. And I'm 50, so screw it, I'm getting it. And if it kills me, I had a good run. But I'm definitely not one of them conspiracy people. They're chipping you. Really? Come on now. By the way, I'm in Benson. Sort of. On the road to Benson. It's a fun little town. They have a thing called uh, Mule Days. They spread uh, hay all over the streets and sawdust and stuff and then they have no cars and there's got mules and stuff and, and carriages and of course they get the fair stuff you know the um, I call it fried dough some people call it Indian fry bread but they call it something funnel cake that's it funnel cake and it's not quite the same, it's it's extruded, and it's all kind of wiggly, 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 wiggly. It's not like one solid piece. It's pretty good. Put the powder sugar on there. Mm -hmm. Could use some of that right now. But with the COVIDs, I imagine it's probably not going to happen. <laughs> Who knows? In case you're watching, I'm on Highway 50, and I'm crossing over 210. So I'm going south, and I'm passing over an east-west road, 210. 
If I go to the right, I go toward Anger. If I go to the left, I go toward Smithfield. If I go straight, I go toward Benson and uh, I-95. All systems go. Happy, happy, happy. No blinking lights. It's hard to see in the sunlight. McGee's Crossroads. Sometimes I wonder what people in other countries think of this when they see the roads that I'm on. It's so different from some of the places that are watching my videos. If you're in England, I imagine this looks pretty different for you. If you're in Germany or something, I imagine it's different. When my friend Stefan came from uh, Frankfurt in 2009, he would pull over to take pictures of fire hydrants and telephone poles. Because they were so exotic to him, he hadn't really ever seen them. I guess these mailboxes on the poles out here would probably be interesting to some people. Look at that mailbox on the pole! Ooh. Another safety queens. How dare you ride with no hands? That's so unsafe. You know, the police are going to watch this video and they're going to arrest you. Uh-huh. Okay. When I watch the uh, Bandit Nev videos or the Paul Fosbury videos, I see, you know, they're on the other side of the road. And I, I've ridden, I've driven on the other side of the road before in Fiji and in England and in Ireland. So I'm familiar with it. I got pretty good at it when I was in Ireland. I only made one mistake. But uh, imagine for you guys watching this, it's like, ooh, it's so odd, he's on the other side of the road. We don't have nearly as many of those painted things on the roads as you guys do out in England and Ireland and such. Man, you guys got squiggly lines for everything. Don't park here, don't look there, don't sneeze. Here we just got your simple basic, that's your white line saying, okay, that's the shoulder. Shoulders coming up right there, right? And you get the dotted line, that means you can pass in either direction at this point, which is nice. That's pretty much it. Not a whole lot else going on, except America. <laughs> there you go, now I can't pass, right? And then now nobody can pass. Boom, there you go. If you're not snoring by now, you'll never be, right? Look at these old new I don't know if they're old or new, it's interesting. Very bricky, very bricky. I'm trying to remember. I haven't been down here in a while. Hmm, I wonder where that road went. So I do have a little bit of a direction I'm going toward what I think is going to be Highway 421 eventually, and I'll ride on 421 for a little bit, and I'll turn around and ride 421 back, go to Chick-fil-A and get me some chicken sandwiches, some, some uh, German cut fries. 
I haven't eaten yet today. It's uh, 1.47. I haven't eaten since 7.30 p.m. yesterday. I know. That's not healthy. I know. I know. I am not the poster boy for health. Or intelligence, really. <laughs> I heard a good yo mama joke. It says, uh, your mama is so stupid, she sold her electric car for gas money. <laughs> your mom is so fat, she doesn't need the internet because she's already worldwide. <laughs> Your mom is so hairy, her first language is Wookie. <laughs> uh, that kills me. Uh. <laughs> There's a whole series of videos out there. It's animated. The guy yells a lot. It's funny, though. So look up the 100, I think it's 100 Yo Mama jokes, and just have a good time laughing. Did you know they're coming out with a new Police Academy movie? Apparently. And um, the guy that makes the sound effects, he's going to be, he's going to be in it. That'll be cool. I think he's hilarious. I don't really ever come down here. I really ought to more. There's the moon. Or perhaps a Death Star. What am I doing on this main road? I should probably take a right somewhere. Go someplace fun. I'm doing 65, 66, and I'm not catching up to this truck. For you safety queens out there, speed limit 55! What are you doing going so fast? <laughs> it's, it's really funny, funny haha -ha and funny strange at the same time, how people can sit there and watch a YouTube video and, and sit there and judge what you're doing and they have no freaking clue about the context that you're in like I'm, if I'm in an empty parking lot and uh, there's nobody anywhere the, even the road is closed and I go through the stop sign they oh my god you rolled through that stop you didn't even slow down well yeah because the road is closed but you do see my head swiveling I'm looking looking so duh. People just love to judge you. And if you don't like my judgments, if you don't like my unsolicited advice, then you're an asshole. You're weak-minded. You're selfish. You're insecure. You're immature. You're a lizard person. Uh-huh. Okay. If I want any more shit out of you, I'll squeeze your head. I think that's the way to get into downtown Benson, if I'm not mistaken. That's like a short way to get into downtown Benson. But I'm trying to avoid downtown. So maybe I will not do that. Maybe I'll just wait till I get over 95 and then start having some fun. Because if I go on these back roads, 
eventually I'm going to get stuck because 95 is a big road, right? So I need to find a bridge to cross it. So I might as well just continue as I'm going. So I will see downtown. Now this one here, I'm stopping. See, I stop when it matters. <laughs> what do you mean when it matters? <laughs> So welcome to downtown, well, kind of downtown, Benson. Look at these old houses. Well, not really that old, but plantation style house. We got a little bungalow looking house. I would not want to live on Main Street. No, thank you keep me the heck away from here. That's a nice looking house. I love that porch. I want to be away from everybody. If I keep going straight, I'll go right over 95. And that's exactly what I want to do. Well, look at that. I wonder if there are any good restaurants in town here. Fave Boutique Museum Mary Duncan something or other Neighbors Caroline's Edna and Libby's Looks like there's a lot of stores but not a lot of restaurants And here in North Carolina, there is dine-in. They got rid of the, um, whatchamacallits, the restrictions. Ah, so this is where Mule Days happens, right here. This is all where Mule Days happens. They close all that off. That's where the big party goes on. Heading over 95. Smithfield is that way. Dunn is that way. Waffle House. Oh, 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 oh. This is pretty nice. That'd be a nice little shooting berm, wouldn't it? Or the beginnings of one, anyway. Oh, it's a pretty day. Well, I suppose I ought to sign off just in case so this is Mike Kaylee 7 wishing you well stay safe out there and I'll talk to you later